hi guys welcome back to mama SOJ vlog how are you guys doing if you are new here you are welcome and if you are a donor subscriber god bless you as you always come back to watch my video my people don't be smart you know and i know some different news now they land from my table and as the news you come that's why they carry a career to come share with her my people for today's video i'm going to watch her together with her all right my people we could go watch the video to see what really the apple for inside the video my people controversies um, former Deputy Governor, Yomi Awoniye, who, was, uh, who also took part in the primaries, uh, says that, uh, you know, you manipulated your way to emerge as, uh, as a governorship candidate of the party and that your emergence as candidate is dangerous for the unity of the PDP in Kogi State. So, did you manipulate the process? Did you, as you have claimed, give people anointing oil? And that the anointing oil uh, did the magic. The second controversy is from uh, Port Harcourt, from River State, where your uh, good friend, uh, Governor Yesom Wiki, says, in fact, uh, you know, uh, nobody should take you seriously because you are, you are not good enough to, to be anybody's uh, governorship candidate. Those two issues. Anyway, I want to start by saying to God be the glory forever and ever, amen. And to start by correcting you that um, the man who came second is not um, Kabiru. Kabiru came third with 121 votes. That um, Lona, actually, uh, Idoku, came second with 124 votes. Um, having said that, I want to say that the processes... Um, driving towards the primaries was not manipulated. I was not a member of the committee that came to conduct the three-man ad hoc um, delegate committee. I am not a member of the appeal committee. They came and conducted um, uh, the Congress. And after conducting the Congress, they, um, there was agitation and complaint from some of the aspirants saying that 153 names, 153 names were changed on the list. And the appeal in uh, uh, the wisdom of the committee did uh, some considerations to the list and reduced the list to, uh, and, and then according to um, the aspirants, they said yes, that it was only reduced from 153, uh, the uh, purported alleged um, insertions was reduced by the appeal committee to less than 60. Less than 60. But at the end of the day, all glory belongs to God. Even if it is 153 or it is 60, you can see the margin of win between myself and the, my brother Idoko who came second. Because elections is, is uh, what we had the primary was the fairest, fairest and freest primary I've seen anywhere in the world, conducted by Governor Ahmed Mohamed Makarfi. It was no rancor, no agitation, no complaint, and nobody has complained about, even the aspirants have complained about the conduct of the primary election. Very, very transparent. And um, what actually, I, I scored 313 votes. The person who came second scored 124 votes. So even if you say they are complaining that less than 60 names were changed, remove 60 from my votes, I would have won overwhelmingly. Take 60 and add to the man who came second, I would have won overwhelmingly. Even if you go back to the initial complaint of 153 names they complained about, remove 153 from my um, votes, I would still have won the, the, the primary. So honestly speaking, it is time for myself and my brothers, uh, my co-aspirants to come together and deliver Kogi State from um, what, what, what we are going through. And um, already we've started our reconciliatory moves. I've seen about five out of um, eight um, aspirants and um, we are having an understanding. I've gone around, I've seen the leadership of the of the, of, of the party across the state. I've gone to Governor 
Ibrahim Idris. We had a very good, uh, robust discussion and he's supporting the party and the party candidate. I've seen Governor Wada and he's 100% supporting the candidate of the party. I've seen Prince Olushola Akomodi. I've interacted with um, Senator Tunde Ubeha. Uh, today I'm going to see Uncle Patrick Adaba and uh, uh, we, 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 we are doing well. And I believe by the grace of God, the, respons the, the, the responsibility before us is to rescue the people of uh, Kogi State from maladministration, from insecurity, from corruption, and from all the negative vices bedeviling us as, as a state, and improve um, uh, Kogi State and make sure that Lokoja, our capital, is being lifted up from this. Uh, if you go to Lokoja today, it's like a glorified local uh, government. And uh, uh, having said that, I will say my quick response to um, Yesam Wiki is that um, uh, it's an expired drug uh, who is about to be um, taken off the shelf. So I would not want to bother myself discussing with a, uh, with a, a man that is about to leave office and is suffering from post-election uh, trauma. Uh, I, I want to concentrate seriously on uh, uh, my election. I want to concentrate on rescuing the people of uh, Kogi State and um, I do not have time, actually, for drug and alcohol-induced individuals. But I think that's a very strong statement to make, and that's in your um, view. Uh, except you're able to prove that by fact. You cannot make statements about a sitting governor in that manner. But he before you, before you himself, respond, we, we, before you we, respond, we, Senator sorry, Melaye, sorry, I'm before, sorry, you, I'm before, sorry. You, before you respond, let me just ask my question. I wanted to just make that clarification. But you're saying, or you're using certain terms to describe the governor of River State, Governor Yeson Wiki. However, you yourself said in a recent interview that you were both friends. In fact, he bankrolled in terms of gave you significant amount of money for your 2019 bid as, you know, towards the governor, um, governorship elections of Kogi State. So in the same way you're accusing him of being, you know, having faith enough in you to support you financially and even giving you his private jet for use to, um, to on, on the day of election, what has happened? Why are you now re referring to him as, you know, in, the, in a very negative way? Has the relationship broken down? Do you not have faith in him? Why would you collect money from someone of that kind of character as you have described? Anyway, I want to say that you work with time and season. Governor Wike himself on national TV, I've told Nigerians on a Monday morning that he was taking 40 years old Glenfish whiskey on a Monday morning. So I'm not the one calling him, he's the one, he advertised himself as such to Nigerians. But having said that, I want to tell you that that you supported me does not mean that you will ask for my liver and kidney. I will not give it. And let me say that Wike himself, I've always been supported and he owes PDP a lot. And anything he's doing for any individual in PDP is like giving back from what PDP has done for him. Governor Audily made him chairman of his local government. So he has been helped by somebody. After Governor Audily helped him, Governor Amechi made him chief of staff. Governor Amechi helped him. Governor Amechi nominated him to be Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Governor Amechi helped him. Mrs. Goodluck Jonathan spent her money, her connections, and everything to make um, him the governor of uh, River State. So everyone gets helped by one person or the other. But you don't help people with the intention to enslave them. You don't help people with the intention to control them. You don't help people with the intention to run their lives and run their decisions. Um, when, once you give assistance to somebody, then you should allow the person to exist. But Wiki, once he assists you and you don't do his bidding, or you try to say, I have an idea or I have a decision, he will go all out and advertise you and announce what he has done for you. For example, he gave 50 million naira to the family of a late respected traditional ruler in, 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 in Port Harcourt. He came on the national TV to announce 
that he gave 50 million to the family of that respected Nigerian, a former minister of the Federal Republic and a respected traditional ruler. You don't do things, that is not how, um, in fact, the, the holy book says, whatever you do with your right hand, the left hand should not even know. So the truth of the matter is that God can assist you through anybody. But because I refused to support his presidential ambition, when he was helping me, I was qualified. When it was helping me, I he, 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 he felt I had the qualities and credibility to be a governor. That's why he invested his money in me. And that is why he gave me his private jet. So what now happened? That the same person you saw quality in him, the same person you, f you, you will not put your money where you have no faith. Nobody will do that. Only a madman will do that. So he invested because at that time, he saw quality in me. He saw me that I was qualified to be the governor of Kogi State. But because I refused to do his bidding, before I refused to support his presidential, um, um, failed presidential ambition, then you now want to take on me. Throughout the campaign, you will never find a place where I spoke derogatorily about Governor Wiki because I respect him as somebody who have assisted me in the past. There was no time I spoke <clears throat> in, 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 in low terms or low tunes about him. And I, speak, I please want to advise Dr. Ruben and the crew that this interview should not be about Wiki because that is what Wiki is looking for. He is an attention seeker. He wants to be talked about. He wants to be in the news at all times. He has granted life coverages more than any other public officer in the world. You want to do groundbreaking of a project, you go live. You want to uh, do foundation, you go live. They want to cast slab, you go live. One single project, five, six people will come and, uh, and, and, and uh, you create ceremonies and waste taxpayers' money of River State. So I want to advise that we should talk about Kogi State and how we are going to create, make life credible for the people, um, sorry, life um, of, our, of, of Kogites, understand, meaningful. How yeah. we are going to transform the state, how we are going to assist the youth, how we are going to make sure that women are empowered, okay. how we are so going to look at I... the education of the state, look at ICT. Those are issues that I will, I will really want to talk about, okay. not yeah. about Olua Wike, who sees himself <laughs> as a demigod. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Um, I will say congratulations. Uh, some people did not expect that you thank will you. win uh, this ticket to be able to contest for the governorship election uh, in November, I believe. Um, some, on social media, and I do go through some of the things that people have said, uh, just last night some people were joking. My people, now the video now on a new watch for you, so on a see what you apple for inside the video. All right, my people, I go like to end the video for you. Make gonna let me know what you on a thing for the comment section. And if you never subscribe, make gonna subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't go miss any latest gist we are here upload. And those of you will be see on a never follow my Facebook page, make gonna follow so that you don't go see miss any latest gist we are here upload. And I'm about to come on our next time. Bye, guys. See you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.